So this thing right here, the new BMW X3, this is what I wanted to talk about. So a lot of people love this car. If you got this car for less than 500 bucks, that you, you got a fantastic deal, like no question about it. Uh, my hat's off to you. However, most of whatever I'm seeing out there is not even close to the price tag that they're using for the advertised car. And the advertised car they're using is a 45K car and they're advertising it for 479 a month with 4,500 down. That's a really crappy deal. What you wanna be targeting is nothing down and hoping for under 500 bucks a month, including your state's tax. However, most of the cars in stock are not even close to this uh, price. Now, the X3 is no different than an X4 or an X5. They all have the same markup. Now, BMW is known for having about a 65 to 7% markup um, that the dealer will agree to. However, there's some cash in the back end of what I'm talking about right now. And most of the time, as a professional, I'll usually target about 10% off the sticker price before deducting any rebates. BMW is notorious for having a loyalty incentive. And furthermore, they're very good with um, corporate incentives. Like if you're a part of a big company or two, if, um, I don't know, if you're a military veteran that's a part of the USAA, or you just recently graduated from college, you know, they like to give cash out. Now, aside from that, specifically on the X3, right now, at this very moment in time, they have a rebate where if you're leasing or you own a competitive brand car, um, they will actually give you a $1,000 uh, rebate against the X3. Take into account that even if they don't have your car in stock, um, because the X3s are built in the United States, it's usually about a three to five week turnaround time. So I wouldn't be too, too upset if the car that you're trying to lease out is too expensive. I would build the car and use that MSRP as the price of the car that you're trying to negotiate and don't settle for something in stock. If they're offering you a fantastic deal on a car that's in stock, take it, don't order the car. But if you're talking like, okay, the car that you want is 48K and the car that they're offering you is like 53 and you guys are like 40, 50 bucks apart, I still wouldn't take it. I would probably build a car even if it means a tiny bit less discount um, to get you closer to the payment that you're trying to get to. Um, BMW X3s, um, I should say right now, have the least amount of discount coming from the factory. The X1s, X2s, and X4s have rebates between two and $3,000 right now. Um, the X5 is low as well. However, their loyalty credit is high. Um, I would really be chasing after something where, you know, it's sort of like an end of the month deal to factor that the dealer doesn't really have much to work with except for meeting his goal for the end of the month. And that's usually done, you know, closer to the end of the month where he actually knows whether or not if he's going to meet it or, you know, he's um, depending on every last deal to get to it. I hope this video helps. Um, if it did help, please give it a thumbs up down there. Um, if you're seeing this on Facebook, please like it. Maybe share it if I'm lucky. And if you're seeing this on Instagram, double tap the crap out of it. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.